Hi guys, Micro here. This is my brand new series I'm going to attempt. I feel like this is the hardest challenge I've ever set myself and I'm kind of crazy doing it, but I really want to give it a try. This is the ultimate hardcore Iron Man. So obviously we all know ultimate Iron Man is a thing in old school RuneScape. I want to see if I can make it a thing in RS3. Even though we don't have an official game mode, we can probably make it work. So here's giving it a shot and I'll give you more info on what this actually is and how I'm going to be doing it in just a second. So let's go meet No Bankaroo. Obviously there's no option for an Ultimate Iron Man in RS3 so I've made it into a Hardcore Iron Man and it will be an unofficial Ultimate Iron Man. But I'll be streaming a lot of the progress so you guys will know I'm not cheating and stuff. And there would be no fun in cheating anyway so I'm going to keep it legit. So there is only one issue with Ultimate Iron Man on RS3 that I'm going to kind of bend the rules for, I guess. Ultimate Iron Man on Old School is made easier with the looting bag for some extra inventory space and being able to note things at the bank by using them on the banker. For instance, if I use this log on the banker, it just banks the log. It doesn't give me an option to take it out noted or anything like that. Same applies when I use a noted item on the banker. It doesn't allow me to switch them unnoted or anything like that like it does on old school. We don't have that feature. Because we don't have that feature, I'm going to kind of make it a feature myself because it'd be impossible otherwise. The only time I can access the bank is to put stuff in and take them out. As long as I leave my bank empty, then it's okay. I have some Premier Club reward tokens here because I did buy the Premier Club for some extra loyalty points that will help me with Jack of Trades and stuff. So I'll use those Premier Club tokens up on some cosmetics and my bank will be completely clear. So for instance, I was doing some training that required me to unnote all of the stuff I've been noting over time. I'd chuck the logs in as notes, take them out as unnoted instantly. As long as I leave the bank at zero, I'm not using the bank in that regards. I cannot use the bank to store things, I can only use it to note and unnote, like on old school. Doing an ultimate Iron Man without this would be pretty much impossible in my opinion, so being able to note supplies or note saying that I'm farming is going to be very beneficial and it makes it slightly easier, it's still going to be so difficult. We may not have the looting bags, but when we get invention unlocked we do get invention machines we can store some stuff in and we have summoning which allows us to have some familiars we can store some stuff in. Not quite as good as a looting bag, but we might be able to make do with some extra storage spaces elsewhere. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. I cannot use the bank for storage. I can only use the bank to note and unnote. And I have to stick to just having my inventory. It's going to be interesting and I have no idea how it's actually going to go. I'm also unsure how Dungeoneering will work, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I think I'm going to start off with the quest grind and get the tier 75 hybrid quest armor. Use that in order to fight things and get some levels and everything like that because that will help because it can be every style. And then we'll progress from there and see how it goes. My plan on this account is I'm only going to buy a jar of divine light. So if I die I turn into a normal iron man. If I die and turn into a normal Iron Man, then you guys can decide whether I continue the series or not. I'm not going to buy any extra lives, so I only have one life on this hardcore Iron Man. Makes it even more risky and even more dangerous. Hope you guys like the idea. Let me know in the comments down below what you're thinking of the idea. I'll be streaming the start of this account later on today. So if you do want to check out how the progress and stuff is going before the first episode, you can always check out the stream. The Twitch is in the description. I feel like this challenge is going to be the hardest one yet by far, but it's probably going to be the most interesting and strange because I'm going to have to train some stuff very weirdly. Either way, do give the video a like if you're excited for the idea. Let me know in the comments what you think. And until next time, see ya.